So today I'm joined with Dimsy Domain. Please introduce yourself. Hello everyone, Dimsy from Dimsy's Domain. Hi. Check him out. Probably hands down one of the greatest Dragon Ball Super in hands down the greatest Digimon tuber. Now today we're going to be talking about was a Tim appearing in GX's ending necessary? The thing is, a Tim appears in episode one not 180 for about like three minutes. He comes in the final act of that whole duel between Jaden and Yami and Yugi. So I will be doing predictions on who won that duel. It will be coming out New Year's Day as a little treat for you guys. The thing is that duel is not. It, it's of course they made sense of it, but the reasoning is kind of stupid. Judai gets Judai gets sent back in time from Yugi like. When was that even stated? When was that even allowed? Like, how? When did Yugi get the abilities to send Jaden back in time? Now I know that Wing Kribo has the ability. It still doesn't make sense. When was a duel monsters allowed to send people back in time? This duel is complete, completely fan service, and Dimsy won't expand upon that. Yeah, it is fan service, and to be honest, like initially people were debating whether, oh, was that a time in the beginning when he gave uh, Jaden the Wing Kribo card? Because initially, in the beginning, when I was a kid watching that, I was like. Hey, look, the Pharaoh's back. But it wasn't. It was Yugi. And then they went the f that extra step by saying, "Hey, let's let's put you back in time." And we uh, they, we saw Jaden versus the Pharaoh. And of course, the ending was not revealed to us. And you're gonna make a video on that, which I'm so excited, by the way. But <laughs> it's just the fact of no, there was no use. There was no need for them to introduce the Pharaoh because he was messing up with the continuity anyway. And they try to go with, uh, they try to be a little bit cheeky and smart by saying, "Hey, why don't we put him back in time through this?" Is once again very fan servicey. But saying that, would I complain? Was I complaining then? No, I was like, "Wow, that's so cool!" Well, wow. and that's where we have to draw the line, whether it was necessary and not goodly, ex not not executed properly, or whether it was necessary and it was really really well executed, but. Yeah, that's the question. What do you think of, was it firstly done properly? Was it executed properly? Or were you pissed off and angry as it was unfolding? Now, I'm biased towards the Tim, right? You guys know that. Our debates prove it. Is Yugi the true king of games? Another debate is who's the best Yami? Check that down below. And also, we did a little thing about who does Taya deserve, Yugi or Yami? Now, they're all going to be linked down below. But the thing is, the way they executed it, is not the right way, dude. It doesn't make sense. Yugi gets guided by Wing Kribo. Props to that. I like that way. But it gets sent to Yugi's Yugi's replicated deck in the basement of uh, Duel Academy or like this little basement area. And Yugi just comes out of nowhere. It's like that little creeper just coming behind the pole or some shit like that. And he, he comes in, alright? And he's like, Judai kun shall we begin our graduation duel and then he's like oh let me duel you yugi well yugi's like no you're gonna duel the greatest first of all you beat yami you should be the greatest i have no idea why you're saying yami's the greatest exactly that's fan service right there because they want to hype up the episode of course it doesn't make sense for that and J he clicks on the replicated deck and he goes back in time and also they made this battle city too what i think about that whole um the whole little Battle City 2 and how everything is. The thing is, if you look at the episode, the a clock stops, right? So that means time stops. So it probably wasn't the Yugi's era, but it was rather like a... How, do, how would I say it? Like, like, a, like a dimension within another dimension. It was... Yeah. It, it's, it's, very, it's very, very interesting, I say. Like a little dimension that stops time. And the duel ends off in hands down one of the most... First of all, the duel is meant for the the Yami duel between Yugi because um the last turn he summoned Slifer. And that was the last turn of the duel as well. But it's it's such a fan service thing. You look at Judai as a character, right? Would you agree with me that Judai is a really good duelist? I agree. He is. I think he is one of the one of the best examples of a prodigy in Yu-Gi-Oh. He's a yeah. He's a very good prodigy duelist. He's. I, I would agree that he's the he's the most passionate in terms of dueling. He loves to duel. Exactly, He'll never yeah. back down from a challenge. But. The thing is, Yami comes in a right, and he summons Slifer, and Jaden's backed up in a corner. That just diminishes Judai's whole journey throughout Duel Academy, because the thing is, he goes throughout this Duel Academy versus randoms for the whole season, and then throughout that, we get these villains like Sestorius, Night Shroud, and then out of nowhere, Yami just comes out, summons Slifer in one turn, and it sort of looks like he won that duel, but I'm not going to give my opinion on who won that duel. The direction that Slifer was attacking, and the way that Yugi was sort of backed up in that corner, seemed like Yami was going to win that duel. It's not right to do that for Jaden's character, it really isn't. It, 
the the mistake they made in my opinion is that they should not have introduced Yami and they should not have said this is the greatest no what's the point as you said earlier Yugi beat Yami he is the true king of games from that regard from the from the continuity of the anime everyone thinks that he's the king of games and he kind of proved it in front of his friends so why the hell is it Yugi doing him why the hell don't we have Valkyrion who's making the attack or um, you know some of the Magna or, or or you know just just in general why don't we have Yugi's monsters instead of attempts monsters I know it's a very good image to have Slifer or the god cards who are attacking but the thing is that we kind of had a rip off god card in terms of the of the sacred beast and that was Urea. Essentially, that's Slifer 2.0, Urea, Lord of Searing Flames, and then you know the other floppy ones. <laughs> we should have had we should have had Yugi being the one to duel him and show us once again and further cement the growth that Yugi has been through. Look, 10 years have gone by. He he looks mature, he acts more mature, he acts wiser. Have him duel Jaden, not attempt, but I can't complain because I that's one thing I, w I would rather see a Tem vs Jaden than Jaden vs Yugi. That's that's my own bias, so that's where the struggle truly comes in. And look, I'm about, to, I'm about to drop some shocking, right? Go I think that duel is bullshit, dude. That should not have happened. And look, Yugi and uh, Jaden duel, right? But they duel in the past. Why would they do that? Why the yeah. heck would they do that? It makes no Yugi sense. Yugi is not no grown sense. as a good duelist then. That would have to be taking place before the ceremonial battle. No, but Why it not? seems like it seem, but it does seem like um, Atem was comp you know when he was doing him he was completely aware of the challenge and it seems like Yugi was still uh, he maintained the memories or the mindset from the future it's very weird and it makes zero sense yeah maybe it was meant for that and that's what that's the pitfall of fan service where you go into this little pit of it not making sense at all and yeah. that's what happened it made no sense but to add more into that why not have Yugi do it 10 years into the future he gives him the wing Krieg of a Carter, right? That guides him throughout the series in some ways, and then lead him into the basement. And how about this? How about this? Yugi grabs a Tim's deck, the replicated one, and he shuffles it with his deck, mixing up the cards and stuff. Or maybe that's a little bit too fan fiction on my side. No, 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 no. You, you've completely cracked it. That's exactly what you should do because at the same time, you have the monsters of a Tim. You have the monsters of Yugi. You have the original deck of Yugi from what we accustomed to when he was with a Tim, and he's dueling Jaden. And because he's the more mature side, he can also encapsulate a Thames personality I think you hit the nail perfectly on the head that's and, exactly and how they should have done it g guess what the main purpose of that duel was to find what Jaden lost and guess what that was to have fun are you kidding me if you have Yugi that's basically a Tim 2.0 in GX he has the memories of a Tim he has the guidance of a Tim he has the physique he has basically everything con that a Tim has condensed into him. Why not have him duel you? That makes no sense because the thing is, Yugi's more mature, he's more developed, and also, 10 years into the future, he should be a pro duelist by now. He should be knocking everyone out of the park. And he was already a pro duelist before, and that's yeah, the he thing. Was a pro I want from the start. Yeah, I want everyone to kind of look at this through an open mind. Just understand that I know everyone likes a Tim. Everyone likes Yami, Yugi, etc. But was it necessary for that? Because essentially, Yugi took the mantle of attempt, the at mantle of Yami Yugi's personality in GX anyway. And also to add something more onto that, that the ending, the ending was done dirty for Jaden. Yeah. No one cared about Jaden, you know, having his bag and walking out into the distance. We just cared about that whole Yami moment. It seems like in the ending of GX. Jaden got the short end of the stick, even though it's his story. Even though a Tim was not needed in that, he got the end of the, he got the short end of the stick. I think that is that the perfect way to to wrap up this video because that that point is so powerful. Where you had the story, the story of this kid, this enthusiastic, naive kid <laughs> who went through so much. He lost. He lost so much and then he's gaining it back. He went through, you know, the whole ordeal with u the whole ordeal with his friends. And then he gets overshadowed in in the story about Jaden by not Yugi, but by a Tim. A person that's dead. Exactly. And 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 the half-assed explanation of we're going to travel back in time. And yeah, it makes no sense. That is the only sour taste from a storyline narrative perspective but I'm a stupid idiot because I absolutely loved it because <laughs> I, I loved the encounter between a Tem with, um, with Jaden is something which I wanted to see I'm like when is Yugi gonna make an appearance so having Yugi saying oh you're not gonna do with me you're gonna deal with a Tem 
no, was he, actually I mean, he does do a little yigi. I know, but, but the whole fact of, you know, now the greatest just oh, introducing. Okay. Oh, listen, I'm not the main event. The main event is a term that really, really, like, you're like, whoa, man, I can't believe that. Oh, my God. And that that's the thing. That's the bias I have. I have the bias of what a stupid thing to do from a story point of view. And then the, the other bias of what a really cool thing to do from a story point of view. So that's that's the thingy bias I have. And I am absolutely intrigued to know what your what your viewers do think as well. So make sure you comment down below and leave a like as well. Now everyone subscribe to Dimsy's Domain, hands down, the greatest Digimon tuber ever. So if you guys are interested in Digimon Adventure Try content, check him out. So thank you very much for watching guys and leave a like down below and check out the playlist that I made of all the collabs me and Dimsy did. Thank you and have a good one.